Welcome to Larex, Laboratory of Recycling, Waste Treatment and Instruction. The aim of our group is to be an excellent group in this field. This group is coordinated by me and Professor Denise Spinoza. The laboratory is located at the Department of Chemical Engineering of Polytechnic School of University of Sao Paulo. I would like to invite you to have a short trip to our facilities and also to know a little bit about our activities. Hello, this is the Hydro Metallurgy area, and I would like to show you our equipment. To separate solid from liquids, we use a centrifuge, and on this side we have a leaching process set with thermal control. On this side we have ionic exchange column system to obtain a separate form, cations and anions. Over here we have a microwave to digest sample. This is an atlas sodium potassium reactor used to perform chemical reactions under control parameters. Well, for the purpose of electrochemical analysis for testing, we also count with auto lab potential steps. In addition to our electrochemical test, we have an electrodialysis cell used to study effluent treatment. Sometimes we want to Potentialize chemical reaction, and to do so, we use this ultrasound equipment. Over here, we have a solvent extraction technique, which is used to separate the metals from a loose phase and an organic phase. Uh, during the process, we can control pH and temperature. We are at the biohydro metallurgy area, and our infrastructure here enables us to develop research using microorganisms. For example, we propose to replace conventional leaching process with microorganism leaching process. Right here is the sample preparation room. In here, we prepare and store all the samples that go to chemical analysis. This is our chemical analysis lecture. And right now, I would like to show you some of our equipment. Our X-ray fluorescence spectrometer is used to identify metals in solid and liquid samples. Our lab also counts with two spectrophotometers, one visible and another one ultraviolet. Right over here we have ionic chromatography used to identify cations and anions in liquid samples. In order to characterize organic compounds, we also have an infrared spectrometry. Finally, this is ICP inductively coupled plasma emission spectrometry. This equipment is used to both elementary chemical analysis. Hi, this is the Physical Characterization Lab, and I will show you some of our equipment. This 
here is a thermal analysis that can measure DSC, DG, and DTA, and can be connected with a mass spectrometer. Over here, we have a low temperature DSC. We also have another thermogravimetric analysis equipment, commonly known as DG. Well, over here we have a malware and equipment and enables us to determine the particle size distribution. Its range is from 0.02 microns to 2000 microns. Well, this one is our X-ray diffraction system and with it we can analyze crystallographic structure of materials. Some of our samples are particles and we use the surface area porosity analyzer to determine the morphological properties. To obtain a high definition images of our sample, we use our scanning electron microscope. And in addition to that, it is possible to determine control chemical composition using EDS, energy dispersive spectroscopy. Hi, this is our thermal processing area of wastes and scraps, and I would like to show you some of our equipment. This is our tubular from furnace. We use this piece of equipment to study reduction, pyrolysis, and combustion processes. We can also develop studies using controlled atmosphere and also vacuum. Over here we have a calcination furnace, and there we have electric arc furnace. We also have two mills, a hammer mill and knife mill. Inside this film group, we perform reactions that involve gases and fumes. Well, this is a furnace that promotes metals like reaction. And over here we have a small uh, furnace, also used for pyrolysis and calcination. This furnace is linked with a mass flow controller 